done our pre-trip. We've walked the dogs, we fed the dogs. The most important part, we got a coffee. We are ready. So where are we? We're at this uh, very fancy truck stop. north they have nothing for me until Saturday so I'll be going home tonight home for a couple of days I'd like to keep moving but it's the slow season so I have to have a load of uh, some kind of railroad parts or something I have to tarp it and I have to have it in Kansas City Missouri Monday morning it's a little more than a day's drive, so I'll leave Saturday sometime. And we'll be there Sunday night. A little disappointing. I'd like to keep these wheels turning. But, can't complain about going home. At least I got stuff to do, right? Could be worse. We'll be coming straight back down this long, flat highway. Saturday and Sunday. I-29 goes directly into Winnipeg when you're headed north, into Canada. It turns into the 75 at the Canadian border. Uh, if you're going south down Interstate 29, it'll take you right into Kansas City. So it's just one big, long drive, about 800 and some miles. Probably about 1,300 kilometers. That should be fun. You know, I haven't been in that area for a while. And then from there we have a reload back at St. Joseph, the same place I picked up this stuff. And that load is going to Kamloops, British Columbia. So at least I'll be busy then. Hopefully I can go straight there. And it's not sort of like this load where, you know, we pick it up, but it doesn't need to be delivered for a week. I was gonna stop at the Blue Beacon truck wash here. But I'm already going to be home a little late tonight, so I'm just going to go home and we'll wash the truck on the way south on Saturday. I'll have a lot more time then. It's been a pretty good day for driving though. Clear skies, flat highways, dry highways, no ice. It's just a little cold. It's about minus 13 Celsius. And we have another three and a half hours to go yet. Yeah, this is Fargo we're coming up to here. Now, I've said it before, but uh, it always interests me. You know, in the United States, you have freedom of movement. You can move anywhere you want, whenever you want. Uh, why live in North Dakota when you can live in Florida? Why would you live where the cold hurts your face when you can live under a palm tree? If you have that option. And yet there's still like millions and millions of people in the US who live up in the cold. Big cities. Like Minneapolis, massive city. It gets really cold. I already live as far south as I can. I mean, I guess I could go down to Southern Ontario around by like just across the river from Detroit. That's a little further south, but you know, I, I, for the most part, I can't escape the cold. If I could though, if there wasn't that line there.
just rolling into the gas tracks truck stop here at the border. We're on the U.S. side still in Pembina, North Dakota. Just gonna quickly grab a coffee here before crossing. Need a little bit more of a kick to get me to the finish line at home. This lot keeps getting worse every winter. We're literally a mile away from Canada right now. I know, I'm being a wimp and watching it from here because it's cold. <laughs> Just a little bit chilly. So we got all of our uh, straps and equipment off that load. I'm gonna need it for my next load. Uh, I'll show it to you on Saturday. I don't even want to look at it again. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, not fun. Not too bad, I've had worse, but uh, there are three sets of train wheels, pretty much. Uh, I think they're for the engine, because it's got like something else on it. It's not just the wheels, there's something in the middle too. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get here Saturday, but I'm going to have to chain them down. And then there's, there's three of them, but they're like so far apart on the trailer deck, I guess to spread the weight out. I would have just put them like right up close to each other in the center of the trailer so that it's easier to tarp but now they're like there's like one at the back one in the middle and one all the way at the front so i got to use three separate tarps and tarp each set of train wheels separately that's why i like picking up my own loads but i do appreciate it when the local guys go and pick it up for us and bring it here saves a lot of time for me and effort so i do appreciate that i mean i would just have done it differently i would have put them all together in the center much easier to tarp that way. Oh well. You'll just have to wait till Saturday to see them. Maybe I can go show you real quick. Should I show you real quick? I'm gonna show you real quick. We'll just go over to the tent. They're inside right now. Uh, Cause obviously they need to be tarped. They can't be left outside. So uh, I'll go show them to you. They're in here. There's no lights in here so uh Another reason I didn't really want to show you this today, because you can't really see it anyway, but uh... Oh uh, yeah, it's too dark in here. They got no lights, eh? Is there no lights in here? None at all, what's this do? Oh! Oh, there is lights in here! Well, what do you know? Okay, well, there's two loads. Uh, I'm taking the far one. This is someone else's taken. And I gotta come in here and tarp this. On Saturday yet. Uh, it's got to be in Kansas City, Missouri on Monday. And look at this, look at this, look at this. I got it. You see, they got one there, and they got one there, and they got one way down there. Like, right? You want to distribute the weight evenly between the axles. I get it, right? But why not put them all side by side real close and it's just like real quick to tarp? Now it's like, eh, I'll put the tarp on there, but it won't quite reach over this one. So I'm gonna have to tarp that one separately, then tarp this one. I know I'm just complaining right now, but you guys see, see my point, right? Would have worked just as well having them on. But this is what they are. They're like train wheels, but uh, they got, Whatever that is in there. They, are they for the engine, maybe? Maybe that's the engine? The engine's wheels? <laughs> I'm not a train guy. I'm a trucker. I don't know what these are, but I'm going to have to chain them down, cover them up, and drag them all the way down to Kansas City. So we got something to look forward to. I hope you guys tune in for that video. There's going to be two days of home time now. Sometimes I just combine it all into one, but I try to get a video to you every single day, so I'll try to make one tomorrow, one the next day while I'm at home. This is an unscheduled home break because I didn't really want to be home right now. I wanted to be working, but it's January, and uh, nobody buys a lot of stuff in January. They spent all their money in December for Christmas, right? So January is like the Monday of the year. It's like a whole month of Monday. I just realized that now. Hey, that's that got a good point, isn't it? January is just one big long Monday. And February is big long, not even, no, January, February could be considered a big long Monday. March is like Tuesday, you're like, ah, it's getting a little better. April's like Wednesday, we're like, yeah, things are starting to melt. It's the middle of the week, it's hump day. May and June is like Thursday. 
And then it's Friday all the way down to the weekend till Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> let's go home.